Hey guys, so a few weeks ago we published a word of the day post whereby we talked about the word phasmid, which is an abbreviation of asmatidia, uh, referring to an order of insects more commonly known as stick insects. And now I have actually included the link to that word of the day post in the description below, so if you've missed out on it, uh, feel free to click it at the end of the video. Right, so anyway, um, I was just going through some of my old video archives from uh, the field and I thought that it would be kind of cool to introduce you to one of my absolute favorite species of stick insects, uh, Heteropteryx dilatata, or the Malaysian jungle nymph. So as its name suggests, the uh, Malaysian jungle nymph is native to the rainforests of Peninsula Malaysia. And as you can see, um, it is quite a distinctive looking animal with its thorny legs and large, almost lobster-like body. Um, and the name Heteropteryx dilatata actually tells us a lot about the species. So the epithet dilatata comes from the Latin word um, dilatari, which means to be spread out. And that is quite obviously a reference to the broadness of the insect's body in comparison to many other kinds of stick insects. And, um, and the other word, heteropteryx, comes from two words, hetero, uh, meaning different, and pteron, meaning wing. And so literally it means two different kinds of wings, uh, which should be quite evident here at this point in the video, because as you can see, it looks like there are two insects, um, two, two different insects with, with very different looking bodies and wings. But actually, what we're looking at here um, are really just the two different sexes of Heteropteryx dilatata. And so with the uh, smaller brown-colored male on top and the larger green-colored female at the bottom. And um, they are one of the many examples of, of sexual di um, dimorphism in the insect world. And so they not only look different, uh, but they behave quite differently as well. So the wings in male jungle nymphs are typically larger and more well-developed than in females. And so they can fly, whereas the wings of the females, as you can see, are quite short and stubby um, and are typically not able to sustain her massive body weight in flight. And so male jungle nymphs have evolved flight to enable them to search for these larger, less mobile females. But what is interesting is that um, Heteropteryx dilatata is one of the various species of stick insects that can also reproduce parthenogenically. And what this means is basically that females are capable of laying viable eggs without the presence of a male. And now what this suggests to us is that the males have not always been successful in locating females. And so it is likely that parthenogenesis evolves, in this species anyway, um, as a direct response to male scarcity. Now I'm afraid that is all the time I've left today, but if you would like to catch up on similar content, please support us by following the word of the day at facebook.com. Discovering nature, one word at a time.